Okay, we are here. We're at the glorious Goodwill outlet and I'm so excited. I have my fanny pack. It's all packed and ready to go. I have my coffee and I have my fancy water bottle. It's not really fancy, but I really love this water bottle. <laughs> um, okay, let's head inside. It is kind of busy already. Um, the parking lot is not completely full yet, so that's a good sign, but it's still a little bit busy. So let's head in. I've got my Ikea bags and that's it. That's generally what I take into the bins. And I think that's it. All right, let's go dig for some cool clothes. <laughs> Okay, I haven't recorded much, I'm so sorry. It's been kind of a rough day. This is a lot of stuff I have to look up. Um, I'm probably gonna end up with like half the amount of this in my cart. And then I'm gonna go back around because they're doing more clothing rotations, but it's been an okay day. Nothing super exciting yet. I'm just waiting for like a really good bin or a really good rotation, but um, yeah, just a lot of things I have to look up. I think, like, sadly, some of the best things that I found are, like, made well in random anthropology brands. So, I'll show you guys what I end up after this first cart sort. And then I'm going to be here for probably a couple more hours after that to um, try to get more stuff in new rotations. All right, here's what I ended up with. Um, not a lot. <laughs> Almost a full bag. Um, and then I found a couple board games down there that do pretty good. I found a fry purse, so that's probably my best thing I found, honestly. Um, they are about to do a new rotation, so I'm gonna head over there and see if I can find a couple more goodies before I head home. I am tired. Found a few more things. These may have saved the day. Johnny was and some nobles, I need to clean them up, but they're still in pretty good shape. Hello, welcome to the haul portion of this video. Please don't mind my messy bun getting stuff done, okay? <laughs> I have a pretty good haul here for you guys. I did end up spending $52.93. Um, I did get 30 pounds, so I did make weight. I was able to get it at $1.59 a pound here in Washington, Vancouver, Washington. Here's my receipt. There you go. <laughs> um, let's jump into it. I'm going to show you guys some items that I picked up for myself first and my family, and then I will jump into the haul, okay? Um, you guys said you like to see what I picked up for my myself, so I'm going to show you. First are baby clothes. <laughs> I am expecting, if you are new here, hello. <laughs> um, this cute little checkered, little romper jumpsuit thingy. So that's precious. That was just like a boutique brand. This one is The Woods by Katie Quinn. So great little baby clothing item brand. So cute. Uh, this is Analogy, which I have no idea what brand that is, um, but just a cute little sweater. Here's another Katie Quinn, or Kate Quinn, my bad. I don't know why I thought Katie. There we go. How cute is this? So cute. This is just Daisy Fuentes. I <laughs> sold at Ross and TJ Maxx, but these are just some cute little floral pants. This is for Marlo. Cute little summer tank top. This is Hannah Anderson. And then this is so cute for her. Um, what is this? Uh, it's called Dot Dot Smile. That's the brand. But look, cute little dragon fruit. It has a little skirt and little shorts. So cute. <laughs> and then this one is uh, Viverano, I don't know, organic cotton, but it's a cute little doggy, little dogs and birds. How sweet is that? Okay, for myself, I did get a couple things. I got this. <laughs> this is just Maurice's. This is just a Halloween little bat sweater. I couldn't say no to that. And then I found, um, Caslon. These are just linen pants. I like to wear these right now while I'm pregnant. They're 
comfy and it makes me feel like I'm not wearing leggings. <laughs> and then just a free people. I'm going to keep this for myself because it looks really cozy and it only uh, resells for maybe like 20 bucks. So that's what I got for myself. Okay, the rest will all be for reselling. I resell full-time on eBay and Poshmark. Uh, I'm also a mom, so maybe not completely full-time, but <laughs> that is where all of these things will be listed and sold on. This trip was kind of a dud in the beginning, and I I did find a lot of free people in anthropology, which to me are more bread and butter items. I don't get super excited when I find them anymore unless they're like a super trendy style um something with more you know something more substantial like a jacket or a coat or i don't know you know a dress a long maxi dress sort of thing but i did find quite a few free people i honestly can't complain i did make weight and i did find some good items three to be exact one of them already sold which were those noble shoes that you guys saw so those sold on poshmark for 40 dollars, and it took about a week and a half um the johnny was i have not sold that yet here she is she is just a plaid button up with a really pretty like embroidered sleeve what else and it's kind of like a painter's smock button up because it has these two pockets right here that is what that is called so in like smock style so it's a tunic button down really cute it's an extra small um this one i will probably get i would say maybe 50 for this guy the second or the third item <laughs> that was really amazing were a pair of Jimmy Choo's. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? Look at that. And they're in really good condition. So cute. They have like a diamond buckle. Um, not too much wear. They're size 38 and a half. There is a little bit of wear to this little heel part, but I think that can be changed out if somebody was really... Um, wanting to do that but how cute are these at the bins one was in one rotation um i kept it obviously because I was, I was gonna hunt for it and then the next rotation they brought out more shoes and this guy was in it and i was so happy to find the pair so happy so I paid about two dollars maybe for a pair of jimmy shoes are you kidding me um yes i have these up for 150 probably get I don't know. I'm hoping to get around there. Maybe a hundred would be nice, but they are so cute. So, so cute. Okay. I did just kidding. I found a few more other things that are also really, really good. <laughs> it's the double RL Ralph Lauren, which is a crazy bolo if you don't know. So this tag for Ralph Lauren goes for quite a bit of money. I, I found three different items in one bin. So one person donated their closet, their closet, and it was a really good, really good mix of men's clothing. Um, this bin had been picked through for probably like 10 minutes. It had been out and nobody picked these up. And I went over there and I like, I think my eyes were probably this big because this brand has been on my bucket list for a while. So to find three of them at the bins was crazy. This is just a men's button up plaid shirt. This I have up for, I think, 75 So they are going for that higher range pre-owned, uh, which is amazing. The other one, let me see if I can find it. It's kind of down here. There it is. This is the other item I found. Just a Henley, super nice Henley. They were all a size medium. This one I have up, I think, for 60 But just a great men's brand, definitely. Um, one of them already sold, it sold for 30. It had, it was a thermal Henley. It had a bleach stain on the sleeve. So that's why it sold for so little, but definitely exciting, exciting find. Next up are soft surrounding, which you guys know, um, these may take a minute to sell, but I wanted to get them cause I thought they would be great for spring and summer. They are like a gauzy linen blend pull on pant size medium so not my favorite soft surrounding size but it was slim pickings like i said this day this is lauren ralph lauren this is just a really pretty jersey knit women's dress i love selling these they usually sell for about 30 
sometimes 40. This one may get 40 because it has that really pretty like floral print to it. Um, funny story, this is actually the dress my mom wore to my wedding. <laughs> Not the, it's the same style. It's not the same exact dress, but I found this and I was like, oh my gosh, I know that dress. My mom wore it. Um, so yeah, this I should probably get about 30, maybe 40. Okay, next up is All Saints, which is a great, great brand. This is a men's zip up kind of moto bomber jacket. Um, extra small, it has leather backing to the sleeves. The only thing is the leather has some markings on it. So, oh, such a bummer. Um, I'm not gonna be able to get as much as I originally thought for it, but it should still sell. I'm hoping for maybe 40, 50 for this. Next brand is Trip, which if you do find the vintage Trip, it does sell for a good amount. These are a newer style, just the whole zipper, doodad pants very punk rock um getting home and looking up comps and seeing exactly what style this these are um they are missing buckles or like they have little um oh my gosh what are they called i can't even like things that you just clip onto these and they kind of hang off the pants very very punk rock you know what i mean you would clip it here and it would just hang, maybe clip here. So it's missing all of those little clippy things, but I I still listed it for 30 and um, I'm, it has probably like eight watchers on them, but I'm, I'm hoping that they will still sell for maybe 20. <clears throat> Next is an Athleta sports bra. These do pretty well for me. I think you guys know what Athleta is, but um. Yeah, like I said, this day was kind of hard to find stuff. So I was I was grabbing things that I knew would sell eventually, but aren't always my favorite things to, to grab, if that makes sense. But I do have pretty good luck with Athleta bras, sports bras. Um, maybe about 15, 12 or 15 for this guy. It's super cute. Next is a style-based pickup. The brand is Sanctuary, which I definitely do not pick up. Um, it's a 2X and it's like a leopard print midi skirt. It's so cute. The stock photo is really cute for this. Um, so yeah, this is, I'm trying to add in the keyword mob wife just to see if that helps sell anything. It hasn't yet, but I thought this was so cute and so on trend for springtime. Outdoor Voices, this is a great athletic wear line. Don't resell for much anymore. Um, some of their sp certain leggings do, but these ones maybe about 20. I found some Madewell mom jean shorts. They are a size 28. They're so cute, like new condition. I love these so much, but they do not resell for very much. I don't understand. I will probably get maybe 20 for these guys. This is Athleta, just a cute little workout tee. I sold one of these in black for 20 um, about a week ago. I found them at the same time, so it sold from this haul video, or from this haul. Um, it's a size large, it's really cute. I love wearing like a high crew neck when working out. I don't like the little low necks. <laughs> Tops. Um, this is Elon, if I'm saying that right. This is just kind of a swim cover up kimono, longer duster. It has like a fringe at the bottom. It's kind of a gauzy, really cute. Some people have this brand marked up super high, and I don't, I don't know. I don't. It's not selling for that much, but I am guessing this will probably sell for like 15 to 20. Super lightweight. Okay, next we have We The Free, Free People. Just a cute like pinstripe popover blouse. Long sleeved, very nautical springy vibes to me. Probably like 20, 25 for that if I'm lucky. <laughs> it's always hit or miss with Free People, I feel like. Here's another Free People. These are just some plaid pull-on pants, kind of like a jogger style. 
Um, the stock photo had these paired with like Converse and like a band tee. It looks so cute, but probably I would say like 15 to 20 for those. Those weren't going for as much. This is Pilcro Anthropology. It's a newer Pilcro blouse, just a cute little button up top. This is a medium. It's kind of oversized though, but it's like a sheer, semi sheer, really cute. Another good springy top. So um, I would say about 25 for that. I think this is the last free people I found. This is a like super cute open back. Let's see if I can figure this out. There we go. It's like a teal colored popover sweater, dolman sleeve with a low open back. How cute is that? Very cute, like comfy. Um, yeah, just over some leggings would be so cute. This probably about 20, 25 for that. Okay, I only have two more. This was a pretty quick haul. So thank you for joining. Um, this is a brand 32, 32 Bar Blues, which the selfie rate is actually pretty good for this brand, but I only pick it up when I find it at the bins. I've only found it a few times. This is just a men's button up plaid shirt, probably only about 20 for that guy. But like I said, the sell through rate is pretty good. So it will sell quickly. And then this is probably something I should not have picked up. I was tempted because of all these weird tags that are on it. <laughs> it's called Mothers of Reinvention. And I think it's a vintage brand. Not, I mean like Y2K. Um, it's just a men's button up shirt. Here's the tag. It just looks so nice to me. I don't know why. And then it has this weird thing hanging off the back. <laughs> Does that just look fancy to anyone else or is that just me? I don't understand it, but I thought maybe it, it meant something, but it doesn't. <laughs> so maybe 15 to 20 for this guy. That was just kind of an impulse pickup that I, I didn't know if it was worth anything. So I took it home and I did some research and it is not, but that's great that it was only about a dollar and I can maybe potentially flip it for 20. So we, we will see. That is all she wrote for today's haul. It was a short one. I really thought that would take me so much longer, but it didn't. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate it so much. If you're not subscribed and you would like to be, please be sure to click the little button below. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on the next one. Bye.